Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to the second part in um, our series on building the bridge. My name is Josh Beck. I'm a technology teacher. This is a series of lessons designed for my seventh grade class in uh, San Antonio, Texas. But uh, if you're interested in the blender, you might just pick something up. This uh, series of this model, this particular series of lessons, uh, is taken directly from a book called The Essential Blender Guide to 3D Creation with the uh, open source suite, The Blender. Um, I highly recommend it if you want to learn about it. It's, um, let's see, how much money did this book cost? It's $44 for the book, 39, uh, 44 bucks. So, um, fortunately, my district picked it up for me because, hey, it's curriculum. So, um, all right, so here I am in edit mode, and in lesson one, we uh, created this model here by using mirroring and all the techniques uh, in lesson one. If you don't have this model, you need to watch lesson one and, and build up to this point. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick it into face select mode. I'm going to hit A to deselect everything. And uh, we're going to create an ornament in the center of this of this face here. Now eventually this face is going to become um, one side of a pillar that's going to support a bridge. Okay, So here I'm in face select mode. I'm going to hold down the shift and I'm going to right select these two faces right here. All right, now I'm going to hit K, and I'm going to choose Knife Exact, and I'm going to create an edge here. So I'm going to click, and I'm going to try to form a nice straight line, as straight as I can. I'm going to click, and I'm going to form another nice straight line, and I'm going to click right there, and then by hitting Enter, all right, it will accept the changes. Uh, once again, it looks like we're going to need to adjust a little bit, so I'm going to go into Vertices Select Mode. And I'm going to select these two right here, and let's see if we can't size it down and straighten it up just a little bit. There we go. Now we've got a nice triangle. Um, the next move we're going to make is we're going to go back into face select mo mode, and I'm going to select the two faces that I just created by making that cut with a knife. I'm going to choose W, subdivide multi, and the number of cuts we're going to make to each one of these faces here at the top where the mouse is is going to be three. Now, what you're about to see, if you think about it, makes sense. All right. What it's done is it's gone and it's created this pattern based on the mirroring that's taking place, and we have a nice star pattern emerging. Uh, next, I'm going to go into Vertices Select Mode, and I'm going to select every other vertices, every other um, vertex along the long diagonal edge here. And uh, I'm going to choose G to grab, and I'm going to constrain it in my case along the Z axis. And I'm just going to pull those, those vertices out about, we'll say, that far. Okay, now if we look at it, I'll go into, uh, I'll go into model mode. You can see we've got um, an object mode. You can see I've started to get a star that's starting to sort of pop out uh, from this model. All right, so back into wireframe. Um, I'm now going to deselect everything, okay, and we're going to select in vertices select mode. I'm now going to select the point at the center of the model, which is the bottom left quadrant of our initial plane. Um, we're going to we're going to turn on what's called proportional editing, and if you look down here at the bottom, we've got our face select, our edge select, our vertex select. You've got this button here, and that's our proportional editing button, and I'm going to turn it on. Now what that does is, is if we grab a point, all right, um, there will be a lot more influence um, around that point um, than just the, the point itself. So by grabbing, there's a sphere of influence. I'm going to hit grab, and you can see that I'm grabbing one single vertex there but I'm having an effect on a much larger area and it's all about that that circle in the middle by rolling the mouse button alright I can I can change exactly how far you know uh, the influence of that vertex goes so I'm gonna pull it out we'll say to about there alright and I'm gonna go back and I'm now gonna turn my proportional editing off now I, I pulled that whole section out alright and you can see there it's in the center just by selecting a single vertex and choosing proportional editing. Um, and that basically just pulled everything around it to match. That's pretty neat. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do 
is um, I'm going to go in and I'm just going to select a random series of uh, vertices in vertices select mode, just a random set, okay, and um, within, or maybe one more, and uh, and what I'm going to do is this, I'm going to hit Alt S, and that's going to allow us to move the vertices along its normal, and if you looked at the soft body collision tutorial we did, um, the normal is the side that's facing outward. So by doing that, we can just sort of get an interesting pattern. All right, Alt S just grabbed a few random vertices and it allowed those two to slide along their normal. And by hitting Z now, we've got a pillar. All right, that has a star in the center, and it's got a bit of an ornament in the middle. Now the first one I made looked a little better than this, but uh, with a little practice, maybe by going through and redoing it, you can get one that. Uh, it looks pretty sharp. So there's one side of the pillar, and uh, that concludes this lesson, uh, Building the Bridge Part 2. Uh, in the next lesson, what we'll do is we'll create four sides, and we'll start to get the, uh, the platform of the bridge built. So that's it, and uh, look for our next lesson.